Hi, my name is Chris Neely. I'm the Assistant Professor for Studio Art at Walford College, and this is my studio, Wet Paint Center. One day I went to work, told him I had had enough. I was born to be an artist, I was meant for paint and brush. So I sold all I own, what I did in Cella Burn, and I moved in with my parents, bought supplies with what I'd earned. In 2005, I started painting these guardian angels. Um, they actually were first requested by my own mother. She wanted something to go in um, my older brother's bedroom to remind her to be hopeful. He had passed away um, a few years earlier from an epileptic seizure. and. Uh, that was one of the hardest places in the house for her to um, to sort of be aware of um, his passing and his memory and so she wanted something just that could go between the door frame and the light switch um, to, to offer a ray of hope in in that room um, my my sense was that that was maybe the hardest place um, in the house for her and so um, even though I didn't have very much real estate there between the door frame and the light switch I thought you know this needs to be something that um, will be a very simple image that um, can can really stand out so I painted just a basic um, guardian angel and um, it, it doesn't have a face it's um, just an, an oval for the head and then um, a halo and wings and, and a little heart maybe on its lapel I don't know and so I wanted to, um, to, to, to I designed this for her I painted one and she said you know I'd really like to have maybe um, 10 more of those that I could give to my friends and I really thought 11 was sort of the upper limit of how many of these angels I would paint um, it was not to be though she kept giving them to her friends and um, and soon people were calling and placing orders for these um, I knew that I had stumbled upon something that was really resonating with people when I had a call from a, a local business owner. He wanted 50 to give to all of his um, employees at Christmas time. And at that point I called my mom and I said, we need to decide what, what this is that we've started <laughs> because this is not um, sustainable for me just to be giving them away. And so um, we, we called them guardians and um, I started uh, putting these little tags on them and we um, set what we thought was a reasonable price for a small painting um, that would be a good gift size and I've been painting them on found wood and um, creating these images ever since. So at this point I'm um, in my 10th year of painting these angels and I've painted more than 10,000 of them um, and as you can see from the studio they're constantly in progress and they're, they're more um, every, every chance I get. These images, these come from the Glendale series, um, all, all images of the um, Glendale Mill site, um, of course where we have the Goodall Environmental Study Center, um, one of the great places in Spartanburg um, that's a, an inspiration to me as an artist. And then um, others will pull, you know, a simple um, children's verse from a discarded book or a piece of a hymn. Um, collaging that material back behind the image um, made this something that was um, a little bit exciting. I had a big show at the Carolina Foothills Artisan Center this um, December showing um, this new Unbounded series uh, of Guardians. They were excited to have some new work there that, um, that they could show and sell in, in their space. First, the show was at the Landrum Gallery of the Carolina Foothills Artisan Center. Then it moved to their Chesney Gallery. And um, some of it has returned home. As you can see, I still have some left, but um, a good bit of the show is still available in those shops. Thanks, Mills and Sarah, for starting the Wofford Artisan Market. It's exciting to have an opportunity for students to show, um, promote, and sell their work. Um, as you can see, 
Um, I've made lots of messes in my life, but it's exciting to be able to um, live as a professional artist and to teach students that are up-and-coming artists. And I think this opportunity is going to be fantastic um, for students to get a hang of what it takes to, um, to show their work and have the confidence to share it with others.